welcome to a two minute crash course for teachers on how to use Google Moderator. Starting at the very basics, uh, it's located at google.com backslash moderator. It is an app service, so it does require a Gmail or some other sort of Google Apps account in order to use it. And bear in mind, if you are like me, a Google Apps for Education user, uh, this module isn't switched on automatically, so you may need to talk to your domain administrator in order to activate it. What it is, very, very briefly, is an app which allows you to collect various different sorts of feedback from a community of people, usually while you're giving a presentation. So it allows you to uh, collect questions or ideas or suggestions. It also allows the community to vote on those questions uh, or ideas uh, so that you can gauge uh, how important or how relevant they are to the community. Okay, this is the main Google Moderator screen. You can see that I've already logged into my Google Apps account in order to save a few seconds. The first thing you need to understand about Google Moderator Moderator is that the feedback sessions are organized into collections called series and then within those series you can have an unlimited amount of topics and then it's on those specific topics that students can post uh, questions, ideas, or other sorts of feedback. I'm just going to show you for two seconds a large public moderator topic. This one is actually uh, Elmo responding to questions from children and you can see that various different people have asked questions and that other members of the community have voted on whether they like the question or whether they don't like the question. The questions are then sorted according to popularity so the moderator, in this case Elmo, can see the most relevant questions and respond to them. There's a couple other important features for teachers. First of all, there's a flagging and approval process, so you can either prevent or deal with nasty comments if they occur. There's a presentation mode, which is designed for projecting comments and questions up onto a big screen during a live session. And there are also, like all other Google services, plenty of privacy, sharing, linking, and embedding options so that you can customize the experience exactly how you want for your classroom.